Hi, in this quick video, we are going to cover the topic of growth in income. Let's go to my full desktop. So we start here. <clears throat> this is the hockey stick growth. We covered this um, previously during uh, our previous videos. So the textbook, uh, The Economy by Core Econ, the unit 1.3 is going to cover this topic of growth in income. Uh, particularly, we would like to start in, in the point that we ended last time. So for the period before 1800, we have less information about GDP per capita. That is why you can see a straight lines before 1800. India, according to Angus Deacon, uh, an economist who specialized in poverty, was, was uh, uh, when uh, 300 years of, of Britain uh, rule of India ended in 1947, uh, you can see how uh, the actual uh, GDP growth per capita of India, here in black, is actually decreasing. This is important because it compares as well to the uh, growth of China, which actually uh, it is decreasing as well, uh, like uh, it was uh, once before uh, higher than, than the UK, as you can see in this picture, the, the purple line. Um, but then uh, it decreases and, and the GDP the credit, the, uh, per capita of China went uh, to be a 115 that of Britain. In the case of Latin America, uh, it's a bit difficult, no, different, no, uh, like the Spanish colonial rule um, after the independence of the Latin, Latin American uh, uh, countries uh, have shown like uh, uh, something like resembling the hockey stick upturn. I would say that the only country that recently in South America has performed in this pattern is Chile. I think Chile is now recognized as the only South American country that is a developed country. Um, so for every long time, living standards did not grow substantially. You can see this from this graph. And when it occurred, it occurred at different times for different countries. So we can see how for the United Kingdom uh, was before. This graph is different from the previous one, the previous uh, video one, in um, as we are using here growth rates. So it looks uh, very much different from uh, the hockey stick uh, graph that we covered during the previous uh, lecture. This is because here we are using GDP ratio scales. So what is a GDP ratio scale? So if the level of uh, GDP per capita, uh, I am going to uh, uh, type in here. Let me see. So let's imagine that the GDP per capita in GIA, and this is GIA, 2000, and this is GDP uh, per capita, yeah, in the GIA 2000 was 21,046, say, dollars, and uh, in 20, oh, 2001, the actual GDP per capita was 21,567. Yes? So we need to calculate the growth rates. The growth rate is going to be the change divided by the initial year. So something like the, 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 um, the uh, GDP growth, so I'm going to type that as delta GDP is equal to the GIA 2000 or the figure for the GIA 2001 minus the GIA 2000, everything divided by the figure for GDP per capita for 
uh, the year uh, 2000. In doing that, we will be able to get to know this delta, which is the uh, increment or the change in the GDP. So if we do here the mathematics, delta GDP will be the GDP in the year 2001, which is this one, 21,567. This minus the year 2000, which is 21,046. And this divided by the first year, 21,046. So the growth in GDP per capita is 2.5%. So this is the way in which we calculate the, uh, the growth and we do it not just because it allows us to see what is the slope of uh, the previous figure when we just use the amount. Um, it let us know what is the growth of, of the country and we are, we are able to compare uh, times because if uh, in the past, for instance, uh, GDP growth jumped from 100 to 200, yes, double to certain time of certain period of time, the same could happen if just the um, GDP or the um, the income or the growth in income increases from 1,000 to 2,000. So as you can see, it, it is doubling in the same period of time. So the ratio scale uh, uh, allow us to uh, take out this uh, problem of uh, um, having the uh, just the amount scale and allow us to see what happened in, in time in terms of growth, which is, is, which is actually very important. Another way in which you can calculate very quickly this uh, delta GDP or the um, change in income is by simply using logarithms. So you can use the logarithm of the year 2001 divided by the logarithm of the year 2000. And in doing that, you obtain exactly, well, I think there are going to be minimal differences in some very far uh, decimals, but they are equivalent. So it's not equal, but equivalent. So we use this notation as well very much in economics as logarithms help us with a problem, very common problem of stationarity in the data, meaning that the data is not fluctuating towards a zero, yes? In general, in, in general, that is the notion. So that is very helpful. Um, next, we have a, this exercise. This is an exercise for you. And uh, I would like to give you, or, or I would like to ask you to stop your videos now and try to answer these questions. Okay, so this exercise, you can start your video now. Um, well, I think you are doing it because you are seeing this. <laughs> But okay, so the exercise 1.4, the advantages of ratio scales. So we have here that um, we have the figure 1.1a in the textbook, which is particularly this figure that you can see here. And we have the figure 1.1b, which is this figure. This figure is using ratio, uh, the ratio scale that we covered during the previous a slide and this is the amount scale. The first question says for Britain, uh, identify a period of time when its growth rate was increasing and another period in which its growth rate was roughly constant. Which figure did you use and why? So if we are using, if the question is about growth rate, I think this is the, the uh, right um, the graph that we want to see 
because it's obviously using change or growth. So um, the question uh, is uh, directing to uh, us or to, to look at that uh, uh, question. So in figure 1b, uh, you can see that Britain growth was um, increasing between 1700 and 1900. So uh, in this case, you can see this uh, blue uh, series and it was uh, uh, constant, uh, you know, it was constant uh, like um, after that. So that, that is what we can see here, more or less at the end of this uh, chart. Um, a negative growth rate would be indicated in, in the figure 1A and 1B in a downward slope line. So I think you can also, will see, or you will see here like a small periods of time in which you can see this negative trend in these uh, both uh, graphs. Um, if you can, um, you can easily uh, see that uh, from 1600s or up until 1900s, in China, income per capita was actually shrinking uh, faster than in India in this um, same graph. So um, that is the pretty much the, the, the difference between these uh, uh, two graphs. Um, I think we will, a good answer will compare both graphs as in, in the fashion that, that we did. Um, good answers uh, would clearly, obviously, well, for this, uh, point out the difference between ratio and conventional scale. So in the terms of a, a ratio, we are seeing income growth Yes, whereas here we are just seeing income, no, not income growth. Um, next, the timing of growth, the growth take off uh, occur at different points in time for different countries. So uh, in Britain, of course, in 1650, in Japan in 1870, and the king uh, for China and India happened in the second half of the uh, 20th uh, century. So um, in 1980s afterwards, I would say. So in some economies, substantial improvements in the living standards did not, not occur. So this has not been the same for most of the African countries. Uh, so far, in terms of Latin America, we can see just only one country and in terms of this uh, convergence towards, towards the rich countries, Latin America are, uh, has like a timid uh, growth, which is a little bit higher than in Africa. Okay, um, so we have here some uh, uh, multiple choice questions that I want to cover in this uh, video as well, because it allows us to explore uh, uh, our textbook online. So let's, let's go to our textbook, here it is. Uh, so here is a free book, so you can open it uh, anytime. Uh, what I want to see is here 1.3, growth in income, not 1.4. So this covers what, what we have done so far. And um, yes, there is a nice uh, section about Adam Smith. I think we will not refer to that, it's, it is a good reading. I, when I started uh, doing economics, I had to read the wealth of nations. So, and I read about the invisible hand. Hopefully you can have a read about that if, if you are new to economics. Probably uh, students with already some A-levels in economics uh, did that. We answered this question, and now I would like to uh, um, see this question. So the, um, this multiple choice question is the GDP per capita of Greece was 22,000 in 2012 and 21, uh, almost 22,000 or 21,966 in, in 2013. So you can see that uh, the growth is actually negative. So we can rule out this answer uh, now. So based on these figures, the growth rate of, of GDP in, uh, between 2012 and 2013 with two decimal places was. So as you can see here, we just make the subtraction and then 
Uh, we divide this figure by uh, the initial one. So uh, the initial one is 22,494, and therefore the right answer is minus 2.35%. Next, um, this question is asking us that imagine that GDP per, cati, per capita of a country had doubled every 100 years. You ask to draw both linear and ratio scale graphs that plot GDP on the vertical axis and the year on the horizontal axis. What will, what will be the shapes of the curves? Well, uh, it looks like if um, GDP per capita is doubling every 100 years, so we are going to have, for the amount a GDP per capita, a convex uh, looking upwards uh, figure, whereas in terms of growth, we will be seeing like a vertical, uh, uh, sorry, a, a linear ratio uh, a, a scale that is going to tell us what is the growth rate of that GDP. So it's like the slope of the previous uh, graph. So what will be the, the shapes of the curves? Well, an upward sloping curve with increasing slope and an upward sloping straight line for uh, the uh, ratio GDP. Here is the answer of the book. So I wanted to show you this just to uh, show you that you can also use the contents uh, online. This book is totally free. With this, we finish uh, uh, then um, uh, this uh, section of uh, our uh, video. And uh, in the next section, we are going to cover the technological revolution. So see you in that video.